I'd like to welcome our last speaker on the new page of injection book, uh, Memcached Injections, um, Ivan Novikov. Please welcome him. Hi all, hi Blackhead, and thank you for coming. I won a super prize the last talk. So, um, does anyone know what is uh, Memcached? Right, I am too. <laughs> so, uh, my short bio, I'm a CEO and a security researcher since last five years and also a bug hunter, just, just funny. And uh, also, we must um, try to understand what is Memcached. Memcached is a very popular technology. It's a memory and the cache, uh, like as modem, is a modulator and demodulator. It's really easiest nowadays to find anyone who knows what's memcached than anyone who remembers what is modern. Right, memcached is key value in memory database and uh, very popular for session storages and uh, it's obviously but for caching different objects such as uh, templates uh, for caching uh, classic SQL responses and uh, others. Uh, it also supports um, by all popular platforms and frameworks um, and uh, it's uh, not so uh, hard to find a memcache driver for example for Erlang, for Ruby, for PHP and um, much uh, other frameworks and platforms. Uh, short, short and starts about the memcache. Um, I use uh, short and I think you know what is it uh, to uh, to understand uh, how um, how memcached are popular, um, and uh, I think in, you can uh, understand on this slide that in the wild internet you can find by Shodan uh, uh, one hundred eighteen thousands of uh, opened memcached ports. It's really bad because memcached have no any authentication uh, typically uh, in modern version memcached. Uh, has um, uh, SASL uh, IOS, but uh, I think 90% uh, <laughs> of this um, open memcached are unprotected. It's uh, most popular than Redis and MongoDB, as Shodan uh, said us. So, and short protocol overview. Um, memcached uh, use um, a transport layer TCP and UDP both. If you uh, run um, memcached diamond, uh, this diamond opened uh, TCP and UDP ports, uh, 11211, uh, both it's two ports with different protocols. And um, Memcached uh, basically uh, has host-based uh, authentication, uh, but in modern version also supports CASL. Um, plain text and binary protocol exists in uh, Memcached diamond uh, both. A uh, client can uh, communicate with server at, uh, by a client X protocol uh, if client wants and uh, also by binary protocol. Um, uh, at this talk, um, I research only client X protocol uh, for main, uh, for, d for different reasons. And uh, in the real world applications, uh, plain text protocol is, uh, is more popular. Um, uh, plain text protocol, uh, it's obviously use uh, classic uh, CRLF uh, de delimiters, it's a 10 and uh, 30 bytes, and uh, lens of data of data filed uh, must be put in uh, argument uh, and storage command. It's uh, a really typical case. Uh, for example, HTTP do the same. Uh, three different types of commands present in memcached. It's uh, data operations and slabs and uh, maintain operations. Data operations typically is uh, storage operations, uh, commands uh, like a set, and um, uh, retrieval uh, operation command like get, deletion operation, increment, uh, decrement, and uh, operation to touch uh, empty, empty values keys. Uh, also slabs. Um, slabs operations is um, um, techniques uh, that provide us to reduce uh, memory fragmentation uh, problem. 
and also different maintain operations such as statistics, uh, operation information, um, um, services, and uh, version checks. Just easy, and I think you know about that, but uh, for future slides we need uh, this. Uh, applications, different applications use memcache differently. Um, Typical case, as I said before, is session storages, and session typically is uh, serialized data, uh, but uh, not in, in, in each case, of course. And caching uh, different data, such as uh, plain strings or serialized data, uh, for example, objects, and commonly used to store uh, different codes, such as templates and uh, macros and uh, other, very, uh, other kinds of uh, executable code. Um, for that, it's really interesting to inject arbitrary, arbitrary code into memcached uh, values. Um, how data stored uh, at application layer? Basically, its key typically contains prefixes. Uh, it's uh, application logic uh, under a main memcached protocol. Um, um, namespace uh, in key is uh, just uh, delimited by any bytes, uh, for example, by slash uh, namespace. It's a string shards which uh, provide application to use different application logic. And the uh, key of the prefix uh, commonly depends on user's data. For example, from user's login, for example, from user's session ID or other user data. And uh, for that, uh, arbitrary key writing gain uh, authentication bypass and bypass uh, namespace restrictions uh, by design because um, it's not so good idea to inject arbitrary data in any database and memcache is one of them, right? Uh, so, last is about memcache droppers. A memcache droppers is a glue between application logic and uh, memcache uh, diamond, memcache protocol. A droppers is... Uh, uh, if you want a memcache driver for uh, for framework for uh, your environment, it's um, used for format uh, protocol packet and do input validation, do lens calculation, and others. And for that, uh, Ropers is our target. Um, Application logic also, but if uh, Roper uh, has a, a really good input validation, there is no way to. Uh, uh, to make vulnerable, uh, vulnerability in code. And for that, uh, Ropers, memcached Ropers for different platforms uh, is target of my research. Um, Ropers also sent and retrieve uh, resol results uh, and open sockets also and the control the sockets and uh, write data um, to them and uh, read data from them, right? And also process data. So, for example, uh, do operations like uh, data casts uh, and uh, operations like serialization data and uh, other. Um, and uh, the last slide about uh, uh, the, inter uh, the introduction part is a uh, scope of research. I researched uh, Python, Lua, uh, Go, uh, PHP, uh, .NET, uh, also Java and Ruby uh, robbers. That's all. I'm really happy like this cat because introductory part of my uh, research completed. It's not so um, good idea to, <laughs> to talk more about um, memcached. Um, so let's time to practice. Uh, time to do something neat with the protocol and the injections. Uh, all injections in memcached can be classified by four types. It's a common injection, classic, um, cl classic way to inject arbitrary uh, commands in protocol stream. Um, for memcache, cache, um, common delimiter is a plain, typical plain text delimiter. Um, as I said before, uh, this only about a plain text version of memcache protocol, not not about binary, and. Um, uh, reason of this kind types of uh, type of vulnerability is improper validation of uh, commands delimiter. It's uh, serial F bytes, and uh, it's really easy. Uh, second type is state break. It's more uh, a more complicated type and uh, not so easy to understand. It's first first time. I think uh, it's not so easy, right? Uh, it's invalid command. Uh, 
invalid command feature because uh, in plain text protocol, uh, all plain text protocols are state dependence. Uh, if you send an invalid command, uh, protocol parser uh, in a server side uh, returns um, process state on a phase of expecting command. Not, and uh, if your roper send data after invalid commands, this data uh, will be interpreted as a new command. Uh, third type of uh, injection types is argument injections. Argument uh, delimiters, uh, delimiter in memcached plain text version is a space byte. And um, uh, also uh, zero byte uh, uh, may end any line of command. And the uh, last type is a lens break, just only theoretical type because I, uh, I can't uh, show any example uh, vulnerable for the types of attacks and this theoretical um, idea that null byte in uh, data can break data calculation, uh, data lens calculation um, uh, function in Roper, but um, all analyzed Roper are not vulnerable for that. So uh, now about each type of uh, injections uh, in deeply, right? Uh, first is comment injection. Comment injection is uh, driver um, uh, any any roper vulnerability uh, consists of missed uh, validation of command uh, delimiters. It's uh, a bytes and d bytes and hex uh, and hex view. This feature um, provides the attacker to inject arbitrary command after application command. And uh, no other restrictions uh, there because you have no control uh, the thing at application layer. Application uh, all only can read uh, any keys and uh, um, do any uh, protocol operation. It's not uh, so easy to <laughs> validate uh, a bit case by application side. Uh, simple vulnerable PHP code listed at this slide. As you can see, uh, memcached class for PHP are vulnerable for this type of attacks. And uh, second line is uh, uh, construct of a memcached object. And then we set uh, any key and uh, key index uh, depends from user data, from uh, URL, uh, URL key uh, parameter. And the uh, exploit looks uh, like this. Um, we inject serial F bytes into key, key URL parameter and after, after serial F puts a new, uh, new command. It's a set command, uh, highlighted dark color and uh, we inject new key uh, with name injected and uh, set uh, flag zero and uh, time to life one hour and uh, length 10 bytes and then put 10 bytes from one to zero in uh, injected key value. How it works in um, protocol level. And um, in, uh, at protocol level, uh, Roper um, concatenated together uh, our commands uh, in one TCP packet and send it to server and then server interprets uh, this packet as different commands because uh, because server uh, find a serial F delimiters in state. It's really obviously for any plain text um, protocol. Uh, Who is vulnerable for this type of attack? It's Python. Uh, Python by Lib uh, MC is vulnerable and uh, Python memcache um, Roper is not vulnerable. Uh, for PHP, memcache D is vulnerable and memcache without D at end class is not vulnerable. Um, and also custom, custom memcache.net project is vulnerable for this. Um, I think time to show short demo about this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Moment. Mm -hmm. No. 
as um, my first demo. Yeah, right. Um, at this slide, uh, yeah, at this loop, you can see simple vulnerable PHP code uh, consists of simple memcached uh, class uh, construction and then uh, set operation, set command depends from user data in uh, first argument, it's a key. And uh, static data, uh, 10 bytes uh, there. Then uh, our application read, uh, read, read uh, key uh, with name of config and then uh, read key with name uh, key one. And then put this information into HTML output for user. Let's time to exploit it. Ta -da. What are we doing? What are we doing? Nice code highlighter. Tin tin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's an uh, ugly web interface, but it's really nice to demonstrate uh, basic of a text, and there is no, uh, there is no anything more. Um, it's, uh, this is text area. Uh, uh, data from this text area puts into first argument of memcached set um, function. Uh, Taker uh, can use this to overwrite arbitrary memcached case. Keys. Mm. Not so easy. Right. Up. Mm. Where is my mm -hmm. no video more? No. Sorry. <laughs> Time to swipe. <laughs> It's more easy for me. Right, nice. Yeah, it's nice. So, um, this again, vulnerable PHP code. My really ugly web application. And this text area. Data from this text area puts into memcached um, a command. And uh, now uh, we put different data from this, uh, from this file and uh, data file and try to overwrite our static value for 10 bytes from 1 to 0 by arbitrary string BHUS 14s. Can bring the See the black screen easier? Yeah, right. Screen mirror, right. right. Yeah, yeah right. I, okay. Just that's nice. Thank you. So, and um, uh, now uh, it's you, you. Yeah, my mouse. Nice. A taker puts uh, <laughs> only one byte, and then uh, other arguments for set commands. It's a zero flag, and then one hour uh, time to life, and then six byte because. Uh, six bytes is length of string BHUS 14s. And then put it uh, into driver, and you can see that key value uh, changes from, from, from 10 bytes to six bytes BHUS 14s. So, um, also attacker may inject other commands, such as, such, as other, such as flush all. Now try to run a TCP dump to, to view at NetFlow and understand what happens in that case. Um, send uh, attack vector again, and our first byte, and then new command delimiter, and then put new commands, uh, for example, a storage command set, and try to override uh, bitter cake config, and um, also uh, set 
set again uh, flag zero and then one how time to life and the six bytes. I'm sorry, ten bytes because BHS eighteen own string has ten bytes length and then send it to application and try to understand what happens. Yeah, key okay, overwrite and successful and then try to find the TCP dump. It's it's protocol communication dump. Um, dum dum dum. Where is my where is my set command? Yeah, right. Right. Um, I think you know that it's uh, only one TCP packet and then as in this packet um, two different uh, protocol commands. First command uh, is invalid. It's said key without any data, without any arguments and for that Memcached can't uh, pass that command and produce an error and after that uh, our robber set second command uh, because we inject this command in uh, text area file. And uh, after that, of course, um, Memcached robber must send uh, data prefix from, uh, from other data. Uh, now we can look at uh, memcached's diamond responses for our packet with our injected data. Scroll down, please. Scroll, scroll. No. Just highlighted. Something really useful. Yeah, this injection. I think you know. Then, then scroll, please scroll. Yeah, right. Um, this is a response uh, from first, first uh, logic command from our one packet, only one packet sent from uh, our application to memcached. First response is error because first uh, command uh, has no any arguments, and for that it's invalid command, right? Uh, response for second command. Uh, our injected command is is valid response and server said store it. One moment. Scroll please, scroll. Scroll. Yeah, store it. Nice. Our injection done. We we inject arbitrary key config with arbitrary data without any restrictions. Mm, it's really really nice. And then uh, our robber sent last chunk of data. Of course, it's invalid command, and uh, for that, memcached diamond produce an error again. But, but all works. We inject, we inject command. It's pretty nice. Um, I think time to, time to run my my favorite command for memcache is flush all. Uh, as you, as you know, this command, uh, flush all. Uh, memcache memory and uh, and produce application error, error for that application crashed, but we have now any keys more. Nice. Uh, this is the first demo and first injection type. Moment. Yeah. So um, not so easy. Uh, not, not so easy type of injection is state breaking. Um, as I said before, memcached uh, diamond uh, provide us to plain text protocol, and each plain text protocol um, depends from uh, depends from common state state. And for that, missed validation of command uh, format, for example, key name or attributes count or uh, zero bytes um, validation, provide us to break this command and uh, return state. Uh, of uh, memcached uh, command parser again to the face of uh, interprets uh, command. And uh, for that reason, uh, any data puts in a data file uh, will be interpreted as a command, as a new command. And uh, this is really nice uh, to explore it because um, uh, there are no any filtrations in uh, data files. Um, just just only database and you can store in uh, in, in this database any data 
um, which you want, uh, without any restrictions, without any encoding and others. Um, this exploit again uh, for PHP. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Tadam. Yes. Ugly animation. Um, this exploit again for PHP. Uh, we use. Um, 251 bytes in key uh, to break uh, to break state because uh, a long key produce a memcached error. There is um, there is no memcached are not allowed to uh, use uh, long keys. And for that second uh, second argument v puts into data file will be interpreted as a comment. Just easy. It's uh, not uh, NetFlow, but uh, logic uh, protocol uh, response uh, request dump. Uh, at first command, we put uh, long key uh, and uh, transmit uh, and received uh, error from memcached, and then send uh, in our data. But our uh, memcached server interprets this data as a new command uh, because command before. Uh, is invalid, and then, then puts data. Um, I think much more interesting to see not for PHP. Time to time to exploit Ruby code. Um, Ruby gem um, memcache is really popular and vulnerable for this. Uh, simple code, uh, Ruby language. And second line is initialization of uh, memcache wrapper, and then set data and get data um, back uh, with key stuff. This example shows that zero bytes also uh, can break a parser state. Uh, Ruby driver is uh, Ruby wrapper driver. It's not meta. Uh, it's very interesting because. Um, Developers of the driver uh, do uh, valid input validation for space bytes, for uh, new line bytes, but not for zero bytes. And for that, you can exploit it. As TCP dump of attacks presented this slide. You can see our zero byte, which um, provide us to break first command and then any data and then. Uh, and then new command in data file. You can see uh, I prefix uh, is uh, serialization prefix uh, because uh, Ruby driver and Ruby Ruby wrapper uh, always use a Marshallet objects uh, to store. Even if you want to store uh, integer or uh, string value, not not only for objects, uh, Ruby driver um, always will. Uh, marshal your object to serialize its string. It's uh, not meta for our kind of attacks. It's a protocol uh, mm, protocol damp, logic protocol damp, and uh, of course uh, slash zero. It's uh, one zero bytes. Uh, replace it to escaping for for only for presentation uh, reasons. Uh, this command produces error because um, memcache read uh, first, li first line, first command line uh, only before first zero byte, and for that uh, it is command without arguments. It's invalid command, of course. Memcache produce an error, then in try to interpret uh, serialization prefix. It's invalid, also invalid commands, and produce second error, and then read and try to interpret our data as a command and. Uh, and uh, because it is a valid injected, injected string, um, memcached successfully interprets this as an, uh, that is an, uh, as a new command and uh, returns stored. And uh, last last command uh, uh, was also invalid because because it's a memcached uh, Ruby gem serialized serialized postfix and uh, it's not looks uh, valid memcached command. But anyway. Uh, we do injection. We set arbitrary key stuff with arbitrary data to uh, ten uh, arbitrary zeros. It's it's nice. Who is vulnerable? I think coverage uh, larger than 
than first type of injection. It's Java, Java Meetup memcached class, uh, but not Java Spy memcached. Uh, also, Java, uh, also uh, lower Resty memcached is vulnerable and uh, RabbitGem uh, memcache, but not Ruby memcache client and uh, no daily. Uh, daily used um, by, for example, by Ruby Rails, and it's popular. Memcached, uh, memcached D class for PHP is vulnerable also. Memcached uh, without D on end class is not again. And uh, memcached.net project is vulnerable again. Time to second demo. This example, uh, again, ugly web application written on Lua, on Ruby, and uh, CGI, it's, it's more easy for me to run any, anything in CGI. Um, filed item no is uh, filed for keys, and filed data is filed for protocol data. We can put anything in, uh, in data and store it by item one and look at uh, look this test string on HTTP response. Uh, application really simple. Uh, first line is in driver initialization again, and then uh, this application set arbitrary key uh, with prefix item and uh, postfix depends from user data from item no URL parameter. And then uh, put, uh, put out data from memcached to HTTP output. Yeah, time to time to inject uh, zero byte to break syntax to break uh, parser state, and we do that. Uh, Ruby Roper produced uh, yeah, error for us, and then contains very synthesis information, but this sentence information not for it. Yeah, um, as I said before, um, Ruby memcache Roper always use serialized value. And for that, to store our arbitrary data, we first need needs to serialize it by Marshall. I use simple um, Ruby script in one line to serialize any data, for example, one, two, three string into valid, valid object to store and then simple copy it and put into data. After, of course, serial F delimiter and set command and key stuff, zero flag, and uh, one how uh, uh, time to life, uh, 30 bytes, again, again delimiter, and set it into my application, and refresh page to view results. Yes, we successfully inject arbitrary data into, into uh, key stuff. Time to look at TCP dump, I think. No? No, time to, time to set BHUS own you string into memcached. 13, of course. It's 24 bytes length, and the uh, commands look the same. Just easy, really easy to inject a bit case in memcached. Yeah, so that's nice. Now, Key stuff has data BH US 40 on you. So, hmm. time to run TCP dump again. And repeat our tech vector. And uh, look at TCP dump. Where is our packet? Here it is. Nice. Where is our null byte? Null byte, where are you? I find it. Yeah. 
it's a new line uh, command in data file, and this is a zero byte which which break parser state and the uh, list of several responses. First error and uh, second error and so it's stored. It's a uh, response for our valid comment and that error again because last prefix from serialized data isn't valid, comment from cached, but anything all works as we expected. And then flush all. It's really nice. Nice comment. Not for production environment, but really nice to to check. Check. Flush all. No. Mm -hmm. Flush all again. Now we have empty data by index stuff, by index item one also. No data, no problems. Injection here, all right. Time to returns again to different injection types and uh, third types is argument injection. Uh, argument injection uh, is really same as first type but and, but reason of this vulnerability is improper in input validation, improper validation of argument delimiter. This is space delimiter. And for that, attacker can uh, do something like argument shift because, for example, set commands uh, has a optional last argument. And uh, if you can inject your data um, as new argument, last argument, uh, and uh, arguments before shifted on one position right. So, how it works? It's attack vector. We inject only one, only one byte. It's a zero, zero, no, not zero byte, but zero cipher, and then put it into, into memcached. And uh, now it's really, really neat because uh, now. We inject uh, zero as a zero flag, and uh, zero flag uh, becomes now a time to life, and uh, length of data becomes uh, time to life, and uh, time to life becomes length, and uh, length be and time to life becomes uh, optional argument, and for that reason. We can, yes, yeah. We can inject uh, data to, to 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 make packet valid. It's a uh, flood data, and then insert new command in protocol protocol stream. It's it's one way to exploit, and uh, it's the same as first type of injections. Uh, Python uh, is vulnerable. Memcached for PHP vulnerable, and uh, .NET vulnerable. It's not. It's not interesting, I think, but I have something interesting at last. It's, it's in, it is not lens breaking because lens breaking just only theoretical issue. Theoretical issue is just concept and never found. Uh, but I suggest uh, then null bytes in data file can break in different cases, and maybe it's not often cases, but anyway, it's possible to break calculation lens of data, and for that. Um, part of data filed can be interpreted as new command. So it's uh, my concept, but never find and no platforms vulnerable for that. So uh, it's potential exploit, but never works. My exploit, yeah. So last idea, last idea is post exploitation. Um, as I said before, uh, memcached droppers provides us uh, no, not only for socket communication, not only for data receiving and uh, data transmission, but also uh, data um, 
data manipulations and, uh, for example, cast data and then serialize data and other. And the deserialization process, uh, arbitrary data is also not so good idea and uh, it's a CVE 500 um, to uh, number and the common weakness enumeration database. Uh, for that, we try to exploit it. Um, application layer, um, application layer plays this because uh, we can execute arbitrary memcached command and can read arbitrary data uh, from application layer. And uh, for th for this reason, we can try to inject serialized data, uh, which must be deserialized. Uh, by application um, uh, at the uh, reading data process, right? Uh, there are two types of uh, deserialization exploits. First type is effects uh, where effects depends from application code. It is Java case and PHP case, Ruby, co uh, Ruby case, and the custom frameworks like a Symfony, Rails, and others. But Python, it's really nice because Python provides us to uh, independent code execution in pickle uh, deserialization process. A few years ago at Black Hat, somebody uh, described uh, pickle uh, formats in deeps. So, uh, time to my last demo. It's remote code execution demo in Python. We have, again, ugly web application. Python web application, this code, simple code, content type setting, and uh, manipulation with two, uh, um, sorry, with only one user data from store ID uh, URL parameter. Construct again an uh, interface, um, uh, on loopback interface in cache driver, and then put any data there. We can put in item no, one. This is um, and I, yes, this is view on uh, memcache um, serialized data uh, pickle format with with uh, with uh, back shell in, inside uh, process. It's really easy to execute this, and only I think um, uh, 100 bytes needed to do that. Just, just the pickle is provide us this function, and uh, for execute code, we need to inject any key which be read it by application. Uh, for example, a config key or something uh, other, uh, something other often uh, read it key. Mm. We open uh, back shell on the log loopback interface and on port. One, two, three, four, five, and run, uh, run shell for this and uh, uh, redirect uh, descriptors to to make our shell interactive. Right? Compile this and put into put into our memcached vulnerable file. Pam pam pam. Pam 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 pam. This is my last demo. This is my last minutes of my talk. Pam pam pam. What happens? I need a shell. Please. Oh. Hmm. I need to listen to this pod before, right? Run it cut on pod one, two, three, four, five, send. Send again, and yes, we have a shell. It's easiest, easier way to to exploit memcache wrapper as remote code execution for Python case. Yeah, we www user www data user. All works as we expected. Pickle the best, and Python not. And there is no TCP dump. For this video, I think you you can suggest what this looks like for. So, what's the what's the conclusion? What's the reason of my talk and this exploits? Please use binary protocol. 
Don't use uh, plain text protocol from Mcached. It's not so not so good idea to to communicate with any any server by plain text protocol, and for that reason, HTTP I think also must die. Our stats. Um, yes, I like uh, I like uh, SPDI. So. Uh, Stats. And uh, researched the two drivers for Python, and one of them are vulnerable. One driver for Python and vulnerable, and uh, zero of one uh, ropers for Go vulnerable, one of two uh, ropers for PHP vulnerable, one of one for .NET, one of two for Java, one of three for Ruby. And what's the reason? Hamster win. Uh, Go, Go said us that. It's champion. So, um, uh, I talk only about only about uh, memcached ropers, not about application, because uh, coverage of applications uh, are really huge, and uh, most of them are not fixed yet, and uh, I still waiting for that. So, I'm I'm finished. Thank you. And uh, if you have questions, I have a time for that. Thank you. Great, yes. Great. Rails, Ruby on. G-R-A-I-L-S. No, uh, no, I, um, there is no, uh, there is no meta uh, which uh, framework you use, um, because uh, frameworks uh, just use any, any rotor. For Ruby, uh, for uh, I found only three rotors. And uh, I have no ideas which of them use it in Trail. Okay. You can you can check it. It's really easy. Yes, I just want to make sure that uh, I understood that all of those attacks were based upon uh, injecting values into the key, and that there are no successful attacks that you found so far that are value only based. Um, right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, uh, all all uh, all working attacks uh, required uh, injections in key, but not. Uh, it's uh, really required. Uh, really required. Uh, but you can put you payload and data if you can break something in a key file. Right. Yeah. Not right. not for payload. Uh, but for break and state uh, always. Okay, thank you. Yeah.